Which cylinder head would you pick for a Turbo LS? 317 head versus 706. We know which one flows more. We know which one makes more power NA and boosted. Will the 317 ever make more power? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at a comparison between 706 LS heads and 317 LS heads. And we know from previous testing, I have videos up, where we directly compare them on the same motor, naturally aspirated, the 706 heads make more power than the 317 heads. This despite the fact that the 317 head offers more flow. The question is, will a 317 head ever make more power than a 706 head? What happens if we add boost? Will it ever make more power? That's exactly what we discussed, so let's jump right in. Today we want to talk about cylinder heads, and I got a <coughs> excuse me, got a very specific question today. Who was today? It might have been yesterday. At, at any rate, we got a question, and the question was, or the comment was, because it wasn't a question. It was a, it was a, it was a statement of facts. <laughs> Here's one thing. Here's a little bit of advice. So if somebody ever comments something on something that you've posted, and there's like a dot dot dot, or that their comment ends with the word facts you can rest assured that it's not a fact. <laughs> it should say not facts because everyone that I've ever read like that has not in, in fact been facts. But uh, the, and the point is, and I, I'm hoping to clear all of this stuff up. The comment was on a video that I did where we compared 317 heads to 706 heads. So we did that on a 5.3. I, I didn't compare the 317 heads on the larger six liter. We, we did compare the 799 heads, which made a little bit more peak power uh, past like 5,000 RPM on the six liter than the, seven, than the smaller 706 heads. When we tested them on the 5.3, the smaller heads were just better. And compared to a 317 head, which has more flow, and that's what I wanna talk about tonight, is 317 head has more flow because it, it had about equal flow to the 799 and 243 heads. It just has a bigger chamber, so it has lower compression, and it has a different chamber design, which is not supposed to, I'm told, not supposed to be as, as efficient. So even if you were to mill the head and bring the compression down, which this test has been done, they were, they were then comparing it to 243 heads, and it didn't make the same power as a 243 head, even when milled down to equalize the compression. It didn't make the same power. So that tells us that the chamber design has an effect on power, pretty standard. I mean, I think we all kind of understand that. <coughs> but it also goes to tell you, you know, there's always this complaining about, oh, well, one of those has higher compression, blah, blah, blah. So, but the, the comment was very specific, not just about the cylinder head, because we've, you know, we've seen that test. And I've, test, I've tested that over and over again. And every time we run the 317 head on something as lower compression, it makes less power NA, and then it makes less power at any given boost level. We did that on the 317 and the 706 head, and that's exactly what they did. They, the, it made less power NA, so if we ran 10 pounds of boost on them, it still made less power because the, the one that was making more NA power, that, that larger amount of NA power gets multiplied by the 10 pounds of boost, and then it ends up making more boosted power. That's what has happened. So we understand that. So we understand one of them has more, uh, the 317 has more flow. It has less compression. It's a different chamber design. And so when tested back to back against the smaller chamber, smaller valve, smaller port, different style chamber, 706 head, it makes less power. So now we add a turbo to the equation. So we, we run boost. And so this person's point and, and, seemingly it's a valid point because he said facts on it. So we know that it's, we know that it's true, but seemingly it's a valid point because he said, well, if you run 10 pounds or 15 pounds or 20 pounds, that the 317 is going to make more power. Thinking that now, because and the, I'm sure that the thought process here is that now that the 317 had the airflow rate of the 317 head, which flows more than the seven or the than the 706 head, now that we're utilizing that extra airflow, now it will come into play. The question becomes: first of all, does it do that? <laughs> or do we just continue to see the multiplier effect because it makes less power? And now we're multiplying it by 
10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, you know, is the multiplier effect still working? Does that happen? Does, does, and, and the other question would be, if it does, at what point does it happen? So if we have a turbo that's capable of making a thousand horsepower and we run it on those uh, combination, like a five, three or whatever, that even if we ran on a six liter, that has those two heads, one of those heads makes more power than the other. The, the 706 makes more power. If we then multiply that by boost, we, we get, in fact, we get a bigger spread in power. So just so you remember, when I did the test on the 317 head versus the 706 head, the 706 head made like 20 horsepower more and more than 30 foot pounds of torque. Obviously down low, we can attribute some of that to compression, not all of it, but remember it also has a smaller valve. The chamber actually fits the bore size. It has a different chamber design. It has a smaller port volume. So it has a lot of other things that nobody ever says anything about. It's all about the static compression. And in this case, that would be justified. This is a dramatic change in compression between a 70 cc 317 head or 71 or 72 however big they get there's some production tolerances in, in what the chambers will be but 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 it's going to be you know let's say it's going to be 10 more than a 706 head that's a lot so we have a lot more compression but we have a lot of we have changes the other changes also that i mentioned so so the question becomes okay on a turbo ls Will the 317 heads ever make more power than the 706 heads under boost? That will be our poll. So we know, here's all the data that we know because we've tested this many times, not just once. We know the 706 heads run on the same combination, same camshaft, intake manifold, yada, yada, yada. We know the 706 head makes more power than the 317 head. We know that when we add boost to it, at any reasonable kind of boost level, seven pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, that the multiplier effect still works and that the combination that made more power NA continues to make more power under boost. So the question isn't that. All of that's true. We know that that's true. I know because I have lots and lots of data that supports that, that shows exactly that. So the question is, <laughs> this is the nitpicking part. Can we go beyond that and get to a point where not only does the, see, here's what would have to happen if it's going to make more power. The airflow gains offered by the 317 head, which is bigger, it's a bigger port, it's a bigger valve, it's a bigger chamber. The airflow gains, you'd have to get to a point where the airflow gains are beneficial and not just beneficial, but beneficial enough to offset all of the gains from the compression and other things with that head to offset all of that and therefore then offset all the multiplier now that's stacked on top of that. Because remember, as we go up in boost, at, 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 at no boost, we had like 20 horsepower and 30 foot pounds. At seven pounds or 15 pounds, we have way more than that. So it's not having to just overcome the NA thing. It's having to over overcome all the multiplier effect too. So again, when you're answering the question, <laughs> will, will that ever happen? Will it ever be able to overcome that? And this guy obviously was a 317 owner, and I understand that. And I understand you, you know, you're you representing for the for the 317 mafia. That's okay. I, I understand that and I totally get it. But whether or not that's accurate is another question. And you know, the only way to find that out is to to not just Mac, because it's not going to happen at a thousand horsepower. I can tell you that. So it's going to have to happen. If it, and if it would happen, it's going to have to happen some point beyond that. Like, where does this thing, where do those stock, head, where does that stock head become a restriction? And the other stock head also not become a restriction. So at some point, <coughs> the stock head will be restrictive and then ported heads would help a lot more power because they make more NA power too. But at some point, that's definitely going to happen. So we're looking at, okay, we know all this below here is true. <laughs> we know this is true. We're only changing the, the flow rate, not a lot. And so does it have this sweet spot in the middle where the 317 would achieve more power and overcome all of the other stuff that we know is happening? 
before it eventually just loses out because it doesn't flow enough because we're already at 1,500 horsepower, 2,000 horsepower, wherever that number is. So that is the question. And, and I'm sure that this person that made this statement doesn't hasn't looked at it in that in, in depth like that. They, they haven't, they, they might not understand it and, they, and they're not, and which is why I'm doing these kinds of videos because I hope to help them understand this, that what you're saying is not just, because he, what he thinks he's saying is that, well, it's just, there's more airflow. And so therefore it, it, it at some point it's going to be better. And I understand that logic. I'm not certain that, I'm not certain that I agree with that logic. I'm not certain that we, that that window, that we get to that window where it's where, where, where it's already useless for us to have a, a stock head and then where the 317 overcame all that stuff because it's not just got to equal it it's got to overcome all that stuff and so does it overcome that before they just both get to be hey look there you you really need different heads in here because for one the deck thickness isn't big enough anyways but you know more flow obviously is going to help the thing so that's my that's my question for today is it is is that going to happen do we get to that point? So let me know in the comments, guys that are watching this, guys that are here on the live feed, guys that are watching this that are not on the live feed. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think. And and he, here is really, I think, part of the problem is it is it in this? <laughs> whenever Richard does a video on something that worked better than something else, I hurt the feelings of the thing that it worked better than. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be another camshaft. Could be another intake manifold. Can I? You know, when I do the 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 videos on the intake manifold, the shiny, you know, fabricated one and all the guys that have bought that because it looks awesome and it looks so much better than a truck manifold and they bought it and they're, and they're quick to defend it. Oh yeah, no, no, it actually, mine has instant boost response and mine works really well. I'm like, look, I'm not saying you made a bad choice, but that's the way that they're taking it. I'm just saying that if you compared that to a truck manifold or a Trailblazer SS or a fast, it makes less power through a lot of the curve, then it makes more power, just like a bigger camshaft does, just like all of those things. I'm not telling you that your baby is ugly. I'm just saying your baby's wearing overalls or whatever. So it's just, it's just, it's, I'm just a statement of fact. And, but the way that people take it is obviously different than that. But I'm, I'm, I, I, I have a question though. Does it, do you guys think that that will work? Do you think that we would get to that point before that crossover point where you just shouldn't be using those heads on that thing anyway. I mean, the ported set of 317 heads that we ran have made the most power. So all the 317 guys that are saying, oh, Richard hates our head or whatever, that's not the case. And, and that's what I was really getting at when I started on this tirade is that if I was putting together a turbo LS and my LS came with 317 heads, I would just use those. I mean, they, they're not going to come on a 4.8 because I wouldn't put them on a 4.8. I wouldn't buy those and put them on a 4.8. I also wouldn't put them on a 5.3. There's no need to. Use the heads that you already have. If you have a 6 liter and it came with 317 heads, guess what? Those are turbo heads and they'll work just fine. If you port them and mill them and change, and change the compression, they'll work, they'll work even better, be more responsive. All of that stuff will happen. And because you're only trying to get to some sort of reasonable power output, seven, eight, nine, a thousand horsepower, whatever it is, you just use what you have. That's that's the least expensive way to go about it. And sure, it might be down on response a little bit compared to another head, but that doesn't matter. You have a thousand horsepower turbo and you're only going to make a thousand horsepower. So you shouldn't be sweating the little things anyways. So just use what you have. And in a lot of cases, like at a six liter, I would use 317 heads, especially if I was doing it on pump gas because they got a bigger tuning window. So, so there you go. Uh, we made the most power with 317 head. Richard has recommended 317s for pump gas stuff, not on 4.8s and 5.3s, but on 6.0s, on 6.2s also. Um, I've recommended that just because you you can, you know, with a lower compression, you can have a bigger tuning window and you can run it on pump gas and you'll, you'll still make way more power than you need. You can, you know, way more power than you have traction and way more power maybe than you could, certainly more power than your 4060 is going to handle. So you can get all of that stuff done and not have to worry about changing the head. Even though I did a test that showed another head was better, that you know, it doesn't matter. You don't need that. Okay, guys, what'd you think? Did you leave a comment? Did you let me know whether or not you thought that the 317 heads would ever make more power than the 706 heads, even if we added a ton of boost? Now, we know the 706 heads makes more power than A. We know it makes more power at every given boost level. But how far would we have to go to make the 317 work better? 
And for those guys that are looking for camshafts for your LSs, I still have two of them available. I've got the low buck truck, and for guys wanting a little bit more power, you know, on the top and sacrificing a little bit power down low, I have the truck plus. The good thing is either one of the cams, only $179 shipped to your door. Armature Gold, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.